Hey everybody, welcome to Glacier Online. My name is Josh. This week we're continuing our series called Love God, Love Others. We've talked about how we can love God in several ways. Uh, we talked about someone named Daniel and how he loved God by being dedicated. We talked about someone named Hannah and how she loved God by giving God, offering God something. And we talked about someone named Joseph who loved others by forgiving them. And so we're actually going to talk about somebody named Esther today and how she loved others. But before we get started with that, here's a silly video. <laughs> All right, so the game option for today is called the Tic-Tac-Toe Scavenger Hunt, and you're really just gonna need papers and scissors and a pen for this game. So with one piece of paper, you're gonna draw your tic-tac-toe board and leave it in the center of the room. And then you're going to cut out eight X's and eight O's. So you can cut out the shape of an X and the shape of an O, or you can just cut out a square and draw an X on it and draw an O on it. But then you're gonna have somebody who's not playing the game hide the X's and O's around your living room, and then you're not gonna be looking, of course, you and your contestant that you're playing against. And then when you say go, you're gonna be searching for these X's and O's, and when you find them, you will run and put them on the board. First person to get three of their own letter in a row wins. If you're an X, if you find three X's in a row, you win. So that's the goal of Tic-Tac-Toe Scavenger Hunt. I hope you enjoy. So next up is a Bible video, and this week we're talking about someone named Esther. Esther has this amazing story that you're gonna see where she goes from being in exile to the queen of the land she's exiled in, and then she still has to risk her life to save her people. And what we learn about God's love in this story and how we can show love to others is that we need to put others' needs on the same level as our own. And the Bible actually says we're supposed to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, not love yourself more than your neighbor, love your neighbor as we love ourselves. And Esther shows a great example of how we can do that, putting their needs on the same level as our own. And I want you to be able to think about that as you watch this video. Check out the reflection questions and we will see you next week. God's Story, Esther. So part of God's story is about a woman named Esther and it goes like this. Esther was adopted by her cousin, Mordecai, because her parents died. She and Mordecai were Jews, which means they were part of God's special family. Our story begins right before Esther becomes queen and God's family gets in some serious danger. Now, even though Esther was a Jew, she lived in Persia, which was ruled by King Xerxes. Let's just call him X. One night, King X wanted to show off his wife, Queen Vashti, at a party. She said no. So he said Vashti could never see him again. And he needed a new queen. So the king invited all the single ladies in Persia to his palace for a year. He decided Esther was prettiest. And she became queen. Really? But as crazy as that sounds, it was a good choice because Esther saved his life. See, one day, Mordecai overheard two guards plotting to kill the king. So he told Esther, and Esther told X. Around the same time, another powerful man at the palace, Haman, got really mad at Mordecai. He didn't know Mordecai had saved the king's life or that he was the queen's cousin. So he made a rule that all Jews must die. Like we said, he was really mad. 
And the king let Haman make this rule because he had no idea that Mordecai or Esther were Jews. Well, all the Jews were heartbroken. But Mordecai thought maybe Esther could save them. She was queen after all. Problem is, only a king could change laws. And anybody who even spoke to the king when he didn't want to listen could die, including Esther. But she was willing to try. She said, if I die, I die. Talk about brave. So Esther visited the king. To her relief, he said, what do you want? I'll give it to you. Esther had a plan. Politely, she invited King X and Haman to dinner. She had saved the king's life. Now she was making a special dinner for him? X liked that. He said yes. That night, the king asked Esther what she wanted again. And again, Esther invited them to dinner. Haman was thrilled to be invited to dine with the king and queen, twice. But even with this special treatment, he knew he couldn't be truly happy until Mordecai was dead. So he came up with a plan to kill him the next day. But that same day, the king realized that Mordecai had never been honored for saving him. So X asked Haman how to honor someone. Haman thought the king was going to honor him. Instead, he honored Mordecai. So Haman was already in a bad mood when he got to dinner, but his day went from bad to worse. See, Esther finally told the king that someone made a law to destroy her people. X was furious and asked, who dared to do such a thing? Esther told him, it was Haman. Then the king found out that Haman wanted to kill Mordecai too. Enraged, he ordered that Haman be killed. After that, King X told Mordecai to make a new law to save the Jews. The Jews honored Mordecai and celebrated with a feast. Esther had been willing to risk her life for her people, and she ended up saving them. Like Esther, another rescuer would come one day, and he would actually die to save all of God's special family. And that's the story of Esther. <laughs>